Hello everybody, it's S-I-K-A or Sika or Saika Ichigo Kimishiro Arclight and what you're looking at is a deviant artist I know, Soul Queen Jacker. <clears throat> Hopefully I got that name right. It's part of an art trade she did with me. She drew my OC, Kyla Lacidion, and she drew it so cute, I'm literally dying of cuteness. So I'm gonna draw her part. She wanted me to draw Col Cordelia, I think is how you pronounce it. Uh, a uh, character from uh, Gurren Lagan Iron Blooded Orphans. I've never watched a Gurren Lagan before. I fought about it, and that actually was the one that I fought about. So I find that funny. But um, anyway, way, I've never seen it, so I've never drawn any of the characters before. But I uh, had a lot of fun drawing this one, and uh, I think it turned out good. I think maybe there was a few things that I wish I could have done a little bit better. But, uh, yeah, uh, so right now you're just seeing me work on the line art. At the beginning I did the sketch, I never really show me doing that much of the sketch, but I thought I'd include a little bit of the details in there. Um, sometimes I don't have any sketch for the hair and I just draw it with the line art, which probably isn't the best idea, I probably should try some kind of idea because it definitely helped with this. <clears throat> also, I think in everything that made me go faster was the line art and this drawing, and my last one since I've been using the, I'm using the pen tool instead of the brush tool the last, quite a couple of times I've been using the brush tool and the brush tools, even if I have them set for the same uh, strokes, I meant same um, stabilizer uh, and stroke uh, thingy, control thingy, uh, the brush still moves a lot smoother and moves a lot quicker, whereas the pen is more easier to control, which I was actually surprised how much more easier it is to control. Of course, this is an bad example because you're seeing me struggle with the line. I always have trouble with long, curvy lines. The hair was really fun to do. I uh, really couldn't get over all the layers in it. I think this is the most time I've seen a... a Yu-Gi-Oh-ish hairstyle outside of a Yu-Gi-Oh, besides maybe Car 5 Vanguard. But, um, yeah, uh, I had a lot of fun with uh, the line art, which is very unusual because usually I get so aggravated with the line art, I just want to get it over with. The line art is always, like, my least favorite part of the artwork. I just want to get it done and, um, get onto the coloring because I love coloring. Even in real life, I like coloring way more than I do line art because it's just more funner mixing with the colors and playing with it and stuff. Mm -hmm. That's why when I do draw traditionally, I've been drawing a lot more black and white pictures because one, I do like drawing black and white pictures or just the background and then the black line art, but it also gives me a break and uh, allows me to pr just get used to not coloring with colors. The only problem is is that in my traditional sketchbook I have all these black and white drawings and well it looks like a coloring book to me so I've been going over and coloring them. Bad girl. So yeah I'm still working on the line art uh, just using the pen tool. Of course a couple of times I accidentally grabbed the brush tool out of habit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all the music that is playing in this video is listed down below, by the way. So, like I said, uh, this is an art trade, um, by, uh, Soul Queen Shocker. I really love her art, and I about fell over when I found out she was going to do an art trade with me. She has, uh, really cool drawings. I'm gonna link to her Deviant Art page down below. I don't think she has a YouTube account, so I'm just going to link to that uh, so you can see it and see all her amazing art. I'm going to link to her part of the art trade as well in the description of this video and the description of my DeviantArt page of where this will be posted. So you can check it out. Also, another thing I've been using is the line art tool because the line art tool helps me to get lines that are just I'm not going to be able to do them with the brush tool or the pen tool, it doesn't matter. 
but then I transfer it down to a regular layer so then it will turn into a regular layer so that way it will still work the same and I can also work on it with the brush or in everything I do is I draw the line with that tool but then I go over it with the pen tool really help I'm making her sit on a bench I was really thinking about what to do in this drawing I wasn't sure if to make a background or just to make a white uh, background but in the end I went with a white background with pattern so the can kind of have the same feel as her drawing of my OC Kyla. So right now I'm just doing skin color and stuff. I do like the set character's outfit. I drew it in the, her, her in this outfit because I just love dresses and stuff. So I really wanted to draw her in a dress. I wasn't sure to do a full size though or a portrait, but I tried to do a portrait size that doesn't show her. That's not a full body because I usually always do full bodies and that usually ends up making the thing more elongated and I want pictures that are more wide it's like landscapes instead of portraits because I do love looking at landscapes it's just that every time I draw a picture it always ends up being a, a full body picture almost because I like including the body so it's never a landscape I skipped a little part of the eyes because I forgot I was recording and stuff and I'm so sorry about that but you yeah, didn't meant that much I still can't really draw my eyes without looking at my own drawing tutorial of how to draw eyes. Which, no, isn't a YouTube video, it's uh, just a picture that I have. I maybe will do a YouTube tutorial of showing how I do eyes if anybody wants to know. I have several ways that I color them, but the way you saw is the way that I most commonly do it. It started with my real time sure drawing and then yada yada. So now I'm just doing the hair. It's funny, I actually don't like blonde or yellow hair. I mean, nothing against it. It's really pretty, but I just don't like uh, the colors because I like drawing more vivid colors like blacks or reds or bright blues and stuff. So I just had a real fun t so time doing those, but I actually do really enjoy drawing uh, blonde hair a lot. It really is easy for me, and I don't know why. Uh, I, want, I made her holding a Daisy, I think it's a daisy, uh, and a butterfly on it because I thought that would look really nice and it gives the drawing a nice spring attack, spring look because I wanted to draw a drawing that has a nice spring look because I really like spring and spring is coming. Well, autumn is my favorite, but I do like spring and I do like winter, but now that winter is getting over, I like wanted to draw spring. Of course, now that I'm saying this, it is actually snowing outside. I like snow, but I like it in winter. It is now springtime, so I wish it would stop snowing. Please stop snowing! Oh, speaking of snowing, I promised that I would mention a YouTuber. Uh, her name is Yuri Chan? Yuri Chi Chan. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. I'm going to, I'm going to put subtitles in this video, and I'm going to link her channel at the end of the video. She is a fabulous artist and I would really like it if you would check her out and please uh, maybe just comment and uh, let her know I sent you and stuff but yeah please check her out. She's got really nice videos and stuff and she has really cool style and stuff. Does a lot kind of like more of a Disney-ish style I would say. Mixed with a little bit of kind of a anime-ish style. Anyway it looks really pretty and she is really good. Uh, better than me, I think, and stuff, so, yeah, just check her out, uh, and she definitely deserves, uh, subscribers, because I think her YouTube videos are really, really cool. So, like I said, I'll link that down below. So, now I'm just doing the daisy and the butterfly. I had some trouble with the butterflies lines and stuff, I thought I'd just look up a real butterfly and stuff, but, I mean, I am not back. not sure if daisies are purple or not. I just went over with a base color and then just went over with a brush to color it. So now I'm just going over the line art just to make it colored. This is usually where I can never get my line art the way I want it to and stuff. I don't know where I get wrong. I mean, I think I'm doing everything that I see other people doing, but something just doesn't look right and I'm going to need to work on coloring my line art. So now I just thought I'd make a pattern in the background. I went with red daisies. Red daisies I thought would look really cute. 
The only problem is I didn't know that this was that much off the canvas, so the daisy background is way bigger than the canvas, and because it was so big, it was so hard to move that it was slowing down the picture, so I had to fix that right away. I wasn't quite sure what to do with the daisies or if I should make some transparent over her or what, but in the end I went with this, uh, just kind of in the background, but over the bench instead of... Uh, I do like how this picture turned out, and I think I definitely did a good job since I've never drawn a Gurren Lagan. Um, uh, Gurren Lagan? Gurren Lagan. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but anyway, I think I did good since I never drew one character from that anime. But I hope you like it, and uh, thanks for watching. Okay, goodbye!